Tides of Change, Season 3. Welcome to Qingdao. This episode, we are still in Qingdao. And today, as you can tell, I'm actually in a small museum. And today, we're actually going to talk about something really intelligent. Our topic for today is Industrial 4.0. Yes, the fourth generation of industry revolution. What's that about? Uh, in the beginning, the, uh, the traditional way of industrial revolution, let's say industrial 2.0 and 2.3, is more like mass production. And many scientists believe that industrial 4.0 is the transition between mass production and customized production. So here today we come to one top leading industry that is just doing that. So let's talk about industry 2.0 or 3.0. So the mass production, what is mass production? On an assembly line, they can only produce one thing on every assembly line. The good thing is that at very low cost, uh, you can produce many, many things at one time that will save your cost and save labor costs as well. But the, fee but the drawback for that is the, uh, it will produce inventory for many businesses and it's not optimized. But now many scientists believe that the new generation of industry revolution is, mass pro is customized production. That means the customers will be able to place the order based on what they are needing what they need and the uh, manufacturers will be able to achieve that also making sure keeping at a relatively lower cost and China is just doing that let's say made in China 2025 is part of the ways to achieve that uh, also uh, here we are actually at higher it's one of the top uh, leading manufacturers here in China which is just doing that and here we actually come to a Cosmo plant uh, is what higher per, um, inventing and they are actually exporting the Cosmo plant uh, the mass production system to the outside to outside of China and many other companies outside of China but today we're going to show you how what uh, Cosmo Platt is all about and what mass production is all, all about. Joining me, I have a guest today, is uh, Ms. Zili, and she is Cosmo Platt Brand's uh, experience operator. Yeah. Thank you for joining our show. Sorry. So, what is mass, what is customized production? Uh, this line, oh, here, here we show this line. Yeah. This line is mass customization uh, test and the verification platform. Mm. Uh, this platform uh, embodies uh, the combination of high high efficiency and high pre precision of, of mass cu customization uh, we can make this line works yeah so basically in our live streaming today we're going to show you how a fridge mm -hmm. or a more washing machine is being produced all the way from here from how you place the order all the way to when you can get your final product mm -hmm. so let's get started okay all right yeah you can see there here is a screen uh, we can click on the order by this screen now we can place the order okay yeah. uh, this production line can produce two different kinds of products uh, this is a refrigerator model and this is a washing machine model which one do you prefer we probably gonna talk more about washing machine today so okay. let's do, go with washing machine okay, washing machine you can choose different colors uh, to uh, combine these colors so so it's more like a uh, this is the uh, body yeah, of the body. body of the washing machine yeah. and this the face of the washing machine yeah. and that's the top yeah that's so, the top. so so that's the body this shows the body that's show the body yeah. oh this is the body yeah that's the body yeah oh so you chose pink pink okay and this means the front panel what about pink again pink? Uh, you can, okay, oh you can pink. also do it as a gold yeah all right that's it fancy. Can be good. It can okay, be uh, let's go with pink, maybe. Okay, okay. Uh, let's show the the head. White. Oh, white. so the head of the, the top, the top <laughs> the of the top, machine. The okay, so the pink as well. Okay, so it will be a pink washing machine. That mm -hmm. looks fancy. Next step, uh, you can sign your name here. Oh, you can put your signature over here. Yeah. Okay, let's do uh, tides. Can I write? Tides of change. I just came up with this. So. <laughs> Tides of change. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can choose a picture. Okay. So this is the year of ox, right? Yeah, ox. Okay. Let's go ox. ox. Okay. Ox here. So, so, so basically, the general mm -hmm. idea is that you can signature over here. Mm -hmm. You can signature your family name, yeah. whatever you want, yeah. and also you can put a picture of whatever you want yeah. on your washing machine. Yeah. 
can choose your family picture to print on the product. Okay, so, but but yeah. usually it's uh, most of the time uh, the, your customers are more like businesses, right? Oh yeah. So so they will pick, put a business models or yeah. logos yeah, over yeah. there. The company okay. logo. The company yeah, here, logo. Here shows a preview of the product. Uh, oh, wow. You can see you can see your picture, your signature uh, on the product. All right. So is it ready to go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's, they have already placed the order. Now the machine is about to get started to work. Yeah. I hear the sound. So this is basically a robot. Yeah, it's a robot. And in front of it, there are many shelves. Yeah, this, uh, the first unit is modular supply. Uh, the intelligent production scheduling system places personalized orders from the users to the station. According to the product uh, information, uh, we use machine vision to ensure 100% of model, model supply. Uh, the robot is grabbing materials of our product. So I can say they are actually grabbing uh, paint modules yeah. because we just ordered the face and the body and, and the, top. the top of the washing machine. So clearly it's picking a lot of uh, uh, models that is colored in pink. Mm -hmm. So actually in the real assembly line, the entire process will be finished in a relatively faster process. Exactly. Uh, there are more than 50 sensors in the material warehouse. Uh, these uh, sensors can uh, monitor the whole warehouse in real time to ensure the timely supply of materials in the industrial field. So think about that. So mm -hmm. when in, in the previously when when humans are doing that it's mm -hmm. you cannot avoid mistakes yeah but when you put the work to the machines that will boost the more accuracy for mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. now I can see that there's a more uh, flexible <laughs> robot yeah. as you can tell yeah these two robots is uh, they can do flexible assembly so At this station, uh, two collaborative robots work in parallel. Uh, they can produce refrigerators and the washing machines flexibly. Uh, take our refrigerator factory as an example. A single production line can produce 30 to 50 models of products, which is the embodiment of high flexibility. So you said 30 to 50 products. Mm -hmm. uh, just to give you a sense, traditionally, one assembly line, when you produce one assembly line, they can only do one thing. Yeah. But during the customized world, uh, when you produce something, one assembly line can actually produce 30 to 5, 50 different uh, kinds of products. Yeah. So uh, that will really uh, increase the capacity capacity of the of the uh, entire machine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the users order information together with the assembly information will be transferred to next station by the EGV. Uh, the EGV is working. We mm. will do all transportation work instead of human. So the entire production line is fully automatic and unmanned. Oh, so that's uh, actually a, a transportation tool. Now it's being trans transferred over here to a new a new Mod workshop. Yeah, yeah. This box uh, looks like a box. This is a laser printer. Mm. Uh, we use la laser printer to print the signature and the photo information in user's personalized order. Uh, which is the process of realizing users' uh, demands into reality. Okay, so yeah. I just I just s signed a signature mm -hmm. tides of change mm -hmm. over there, and also we chose a, a picture, yeah. and now and the also. laser printer will be able to see it's being put in the laser printer, and hopefully soon we'll be able to see how the signature and the picture are printed out. Mm -hmm. Now we can also see a long screen about the production line. Mm. Yeah. Uh, on this screen, we, <coughs> we can use uh, digital twin technology. When the production line is working, every movement of our robots can be projected onto the screen in real time so that we can see all production data and information. Yeah. So, well, uh, as you can see, all of the monitors are actually in English. Yeah. Certainly, uh -huh. this entire system is also being exported uh, as a China, part of China solution. So. See, now this has already comes out. Ooh, look at that. Wow, cool. <laughs> a big machine hands will be able to pick up the entire washing machine. Mm. McCamry vision is applied in quality inspection 
and the image data is communicated by 5G. Uh, this application can effectively reduce the cost of manual inspection by more than 1 million mm. uh, RMB each year in the single factory in higher. Wow, so uh, you also mentioned about 5G uh, uh, transformation. So basically 5G is uh, being applied to many, many uh, mm -hmm. different manufacturing mm -hmm. uh, process mm -hmm. over here. So what's the next step? Uh, next step, this robot is responsible for packaging. Mm -hmm. uh, he can choose uh, the corresponding uh, packaging according to the uh, the catalog of the product or the uh, size or the weight of the product. Mm -hmm. Now here comes the, uh, the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so you mean the size of the product, so different size of the product, they will choose different uh, packaging material and different packaging tools. And that can also save, save a lot of material as well. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, hold on, uh, I, we, we really want to see how it's being packed up. Okay. So, uh, there is, a, so it's picking up a, clearly a blue box. Yeah. And now... Uh, part of the blue box. Part of the blue box. <laughs> yeah. um, Put it on a packing table. Yeah. He's gonna to grab this machine, washing machine. Wow! Look at that. So this is m way more flexible than a uh, you know labor. When, when you put, have people actually doing the packaging mm -hmm, process mm -hmm. that will really consume a lot of labor costs over here. Now it's taking a, a, a top to seal the box. Yeah. The high efficiency of our production line is driven by user demands mm -hmm. as well as the high uh, pre precision. Wow. So this is almost ready to go delivered yeah. to your house or to a company's house. Exactly. But before that, uh, they actually have to go through a storage process mm -hmm. because you don't get it transferred to your house directly. So I know Hire also has a very intelligent uh, storing mm -hmm. uh, place, right? So which is over here. Yeah. At the intelligent storage node, the robot automatically allocates the best storage uh, storage space according to the order Im information. Uh, the test and the verification platform builds the whole set of solutions from the edge to the cloud, effectively compl uh, complementing Cosmoplex uh, comprehensiveness in the field of industrial internet platform. All right, are we able to actually pick our final product over exactly, here? Exactly, exactly. Okay, oh. You can get your order through this screen. Oh, <laughs> Another oh. Another screen. Because I have to prove that it's me who placed the order and it's me who collect the order. Yeah, there are two ways to get your order. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the first way, face recognition, hmm. order taking, or you can uh, call the admi administrator to to, to take your orders. Mm. If you choose the first way, uh, this, uh, yeah, this camera can scan your face. Right. So we use face recognition technology to get your order. Mm. Mm -hmm. That will actually boost the efficiency how you purchase the order and mm -hmm. buy the order and get the order, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to see the order? Yeah. So we'll just see how yeah. it's got collected. Mm -hmm. It's over here. It's wow. So it's, it's actually not that one. Ooh. Was that this one? I think it's that one. It's that one, right? Oh, they have already ones that are pretty. Oh, 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 actually, now... Our engineer will... Our engineer actually is going to pick order. it up. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Fancy. So that will make a fridge. That's a new fridge I just ordered. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. A higher yeah. fridge. Open the door. Oh, you can <laughs> open the door. This is a nice, oh, not a fridge. I'm sorry. This is a washing machine. Washing machine. A nice washing machine. Double store wa washing machine. And what's more fancy, look at that. That was the ties of change I just wrote. 
and the ox uh, pattern we chose. So this is a, certainly a customizer. Mm -hmm. I know for sure uh, the so-called customized ordering is not just putting on a yeah. pattern. There's more things that you can actually customize, mm -hmm. including the color and many more. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. So how has this been applied to other factories? Mm, for now, at present, uh, our system uh, is uh, located in located in a more than one, uh, more than uh, eighty percent of hires factories. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, test and the verification platform has participated in handover mass for four years, mm -hmm. and uh, it, uh, it it has also been highly recognized by the father of German Industry 4.0, uh, Mr. Kohanin. Mm -hmm. uh, in August 2020, this platform uh, it w was invited to join in the GAIA-X in Germany. Mm. Uh, it is the first Chinese company to join in this program. Wow, so it's already being recognized by the in, uh, international standard. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting process. Thank you so much for showing us around. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thanks. All right, uh, I really want to show you some of the general environment of this little um, gallery. Uh, this is actually a gallery that presents different types of uh, appliances, different application of the Cosmo system. So uh, the un to understand that actually Tire is doing more than just um, you know doing home appliances. They're actually applying what we just saw, the entire system, to many different industries 15 uh, industries to be more precise and in different 20 countries so we would say that this is an export of China solution now we have just seen is the entire process of how a washing machine is being produced but these is actually a module if you want to see something real my colleague Yang Ximeng is actually standing by in a real assembly line and she will tell you more I'm Yang Xinmeng, and I heard Yunfei has just made a small washing machine model. Good for him, and I'm sure he was having fun. And I'm here in the higher washing machine factory with these big guys, and I'm going to show you how a real big washing machine is being made on the assembly line. So to, to better uh, uh, explain, I also invited special guests to join me. Uh, the product manager, Zhao, Ms. Zhao Jie, and she's going to tell us more about the manufacture of the washing machine. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Welcome to the higher front load washer interconnected factory. So Thank today you. we will show you how we make a smart washer. Okay, so we are here actually in the factory and this is the assembly line here, right? Yeah, this is the very first station of the whole assembly line. Uh -huh, so this is the start of the assembly line. Yeah. I'm seeing a uh, robotic arm. Yeah, here. Those, uh, those are the cabinets, the out frame of the whole mm -hmm. washer. Mm -hmm. And here you can see there is a kind of elevator. Oh, over there, the orange thing is actually an elevator. Yeah, it's actually our intelligent deliver system. And on the first floor, we have the automatic pre-assembly line uh -huh. to build those cabinets, and we deliver it to here. Oh, so it automatically grasps the, uh, the, the shell, the cabinet, like a magnet. Yeah, right. So okay. the, the robot can not, uh, can not only grab the cabinet, mm -hmm. it can also recognize the cabinet by different models. Wow, that's really cool. So that is a really, really smart robot. Uh, so I'm say, I'm guessing you have a underfloor. The first floor is yeah. like a uh, warehouse, right? Yeah. yeah. So you grab uh, these cabinets from the warehouse by the elevator, mm -hmm. and the robot arm will take it to the assembly line. Right. And I see up here, ahead of us. Yes. What so, is this for? Uh, actually, those for the. Those were the our sub washer, uh -huh. which consists of the core parts, priority parts of the washer. That is the inner drum and outer drum. Oh, so so these two, the inner drum and the uh, outer drum, the outer yeah. cup, are also pre-assembled mm -hmm. uh, in other assembly lines. Yes, and they are actually you know the core part, the core of a washing machine. In order to make a washing machine actually work, you right. need these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So so what does this do? It's um, like a hanging overhead conveyor. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. So actually, it's part of our intelligent delivery system, uh -huh. and those subwashers can be delivered from our uh, pre-assembly line to okay. the whole assembly line. So and those subwashers can match with our uh, whole unit here. Okay, so this is what they uh, just delivered. Mm -hmm. From up there, we can see all these, you know, the uh, uh, the orange like cages, mm -hmm. the vomiting cages. Yeah. And uh, Ah, the white thing. It's the, uh, what we are seeing now is actually the outer tub, the outer drum of the, uh, yeah, the washing machine. Yeah, so it's the whole assembly of the outer and the inner tub, uh -huh. inner, inner drums. Okay. And you just told me that this is actually the an assembly line for the GE appliances in America. Yeah, GE products for mm -hmm. the American mm -hmm. uh, markets. Uh -huh. And uh, actually, um, we're not only uh, doing the business with the American market because mm -hmm. uh, Hire has uh, insisted on the brand creating uh -huh. overseas, and uh, for the White House uh, White appliances, we have been like uh, the global number one mm -hmm. for uh, 12 consecutive years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, can can I say it this way? So, you know, GE appliances. It's really, really popular in the uh, United States market. Mm. So what we see they have, their washing machine is actually Hire's washing machine. It's actually produced here in mm. Hire. Mm -hmm. So uh, our products meet the uh, US market with a very large capacity, uh -huh. Uh -huh, which meets the uh, US family's requirement. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow. So I see there are so many you know, washing machines here. Mm. Uh, how often, you know, how long does it take to, to produce, to manufacture one, one washing one, machine? One unit, right? Yeah. So I can tell you that our daily capacity of this line is about 1,800 units. 1,800? Yeah. And how long do you work? 10 uh, hours, 8 hours, 10 uh, hours? That means that every 20 seconds, we can have a one unit washer package and roll off the line. Every 20 seconds? That's amazing. So. Every 26 seconds, as we are talking, how long have we talked? About five minutes, so. <laughs> every 20 seconds, a new washing machine is being manufactured, is being created here. Yeah. That's, that's really, that's like magic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you are going to, you know, the assembled uh, washing machine here, you're going to then sell it on uh, to different countries, different markets, mm -hmm. right? Right. So uh, especially for our uh, washer, mm -hmm. so uh, we are leading in different countries. Okay. Like we are top one in uh, Japan, uh -huh. uh, Australia, and also New Zealand and Pakistan. Okay, and what, what, what is this for? This is, oh, this is our uh, intelligent automatic detection station. Like the testing? Testing. Yeah, testing and detection and inspection. Okay, how does this work? Uh, so it tests the uh, quality of the washing machine, right? Yeah. Can we go up there? Yes, please. This is really, really cool. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, careful, careful here. So we can actually come up and have a uh, better, closer look at this, no. of this washing machine. Hello, how do you call it? Uh, I'm Ren. Ah, Mr. Ren. Mr. Ren is going to tell us more about the testing and mm -hmm. detection of the washing machine. 那您给我们讲一下这个检测站是怎么工作的 Okay, so they are, this assembly line here is actually the smartest uh, detection device here in a higher factory here. Mm -hmm. And they have actually, we can see 14 these stations and so they can detect 14 washing machines at one time together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So this is the uh, detection station of the washing machine. Uh -huh. And uh, we are going to put the dispenser into the Yeah, this connector is actually connected to the computer. Mm -hmm. 
，因为之后会要这个模拟排水啊，所以我们排水管也要先都插上。这时候再扫描我们的机边条码，一键启动就可以开始检测了。So he just started this. He just started the detection process. 那这一下可以检测多少不同的？我们是可以对性能以及出水量等等可以检测四十二项。Oh, okay. So they can, you know, detect forty-two indexes of the washing machine. 是在这一个地方就可以完成所有的检测吗 ？Yeah. 是的，就是就是它不用动是吧？不用动。So the washing machine, you know, can just put into this place and can finish the whole detecting process. 因为我知道，就是以前那个我们如果进行一些家电的质量检测的话，是需要人工去一项一项核对的。是的，如果说需要人工操作的话，需要三个人以上，那我们这个完全可以省掉三个人。Okay, so he just said, you know, it actually takes about three person to finish the whole. Detecting and testing process, but with this machine, with this smart computer, uh, it saves um, a lot of you know a lot of effort by human. 那现在这个是干什么？在做甩干吗？就是在做最高转速的一个检测，看是否可以达达到一个最高的一个转速。So we can see it's vibrating a little bit, it's shaking. It's actually testing the uh, spinning speed. See how. How fast it can spin? Yeah. 这个地方，等一下，它是会进出水。我看您放了一个这个导流层。是的啊，这呃，出水的话会从后面喷水。哦 ，OK OK. So we can also see the water. 这边是一个注水头啊。Go out of the washing machine. And this is really cool because you don't usually see water on an assembly line. 就是很少会看到在这个生产线上有这个水，因为有电嘛，很危险的这个。是啊，嗯。所以我们不会让它暴露在啊目光之中。OK OK. And uh, we have some comments here as we are waiting for you know the detecting uh, process. We have some comments here. Uh, Coco in Sweden. Coco from YouTube said we use higher in Sweden. Right. Yes. Wow. Are you Swiss? Okay. Europe. And then, Lucky Frank from YouTube said, "I have a washing machine of higher. Are oh. you really selling your products everywhere in the world?" And then Han Chua from YouTube said, "Are the mach machines front or top loader? They are front loaders. Yeah, right? they are front loaders. Okay. Oh, we can see the water here. Okay, can I open it? Can. Oh, so water is flowing in. Can I open it? Can I open it? Put it back. <laughs> So how long does it take to finish the whole process? 四分钟之内。Oh, within just four minutes, it can finish the whole process. 那您刚才说，如果我们是三个人需要去完成整套运行的话，那个需要多长时间呢？呃，首先三个人的话，只能检测它们部分功能。嗯。那我们应该是需要这个十分钟左右。Ah, so he just said it takes three person to finish the whole process, and it takes about. Ten minutes to do so, and it's not even the whole process. Uh, it's just part of the process. Three person, ten minutes. It's much, much, much faster and much more convenient than 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 the traditional way. 那我们等一下还能看到是什么什么检测？可以看到可以看到这边它检测是否合格。Oh, so we can see these are the forty-two indexes showing on the screen. 如果有一项不合格，它会变 red， 变红，然后。然后它会报 NG. We like the green color. <laughs> so if you see something is in red, oh, that's okay. unqualified. 检测完成 Finish. 检测结果合格 Qualified. Oh, that's brilliant. As we are talking, uh, this new assembled washing ma machine is qualified enough to put in the market. I'm not sure who the lucky guy will buy this washing machine from which country. Thank you so much. 谢谢你 You're welcome. Thank you. Wow, that's that's really really fast. Mm, right. And I heard that you you really are paying you know detailed attention to uh, the quality of your products. Mm -hmm. uh, like they are testing 42 indexes of the uh, washing machine. And also I heard there's a story. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really really famous story from higher company. You know, back in the 1980s, your CEO Mr. Zhang Ruimin mm -hmm. 
this guy actually sm smashed 76 fridges back in the 1980s. You know, when, during that time, a fridge is really, really, really expensive. Right. It costs about um, an ordinary worker's two year salary. Uh, and he smashed 76 of them just because of they are not qualified enough. Mm -hmm. Right. So actually, that, um, that uh, uh, event uh, mm -hmm. we can our quality awareness uh -huh. so that's why we build those uh, uh, intelligent devices and equipment to help us control all those quality so now you have uh, you know more I heard you have more steps to, to test the quality of the, uh, of the right. washing machine right it's, mm -hmm. just, it's, it's not just even this uh, we have already tested uh, 42 indexes of the uh, on the line. condition right. on the line. And then we have this lab here. This is a user experience center. Mm -hmm. And there's more testing here. Right. right? Uh, actually, we have that's, that's multiple or labs uh -huh. to do the uh, performance uh -huh. and the reliability tests. And those, you can, those units are just uh, uh, pick up from the line, and we do the test here. OK, so how many? I'm guessing not all of the uh, machines are going to be tested again. You mm -hmm. just take several of them, right? Right. So uh, how many do you take? Because mm, this is the, just the end of the line test. Uh, uh -huh. I have said that the daily uh, output is about 1,800 1800? units. Uh -huh. So uh, every day we will put, uh, pick up about uh, 13 units here to do the end of the line test. So 13 out of 18, 1,800, they will be put here and test again. Yeah. And you're not, oh, oh, you're not only testing your own products, yes, right? Yes, uh, actually this, uh, these labs can do the test to meet different areas, uh, uh, test requirement and test standards. Uh -huh. and, and also for hire, we uh, possess and pro propose like 80% uh, of the um, appliance industry's test okay. standards. So you are like setting the standard mm. of the quality in this industry. Yeah, we are leading the industry. Wow, that's why we say Hire is one of the top leading uh, manufacturers here in China uh, regarding you know, the household appliance manufacturing industry. Mm -hmm. That's really brilliant. And what we are seeing here is actually the packaging uh, part on, yeah. online. Packaging right? and uh, ER inspection. Mm -hmm. uh, here you can see there is a kind of a lighting house. Mm -hmm. So this uh, lighting simulating the actual uh, lighting environment of the in the user's home mm -hmm. and uh, with that l a kind of a real light uh, we can inspect the color of the different parts okay because we see that you know in this factory in this workshop the lighting is pretty dim it's pretty dark and here we have so many lights some are cool some are warm they actually simulate the uh, the actual uh, environment in user's home. Yeah, so we can test the appearance, the outside of the, uh, the washing machine. Yeah. Make sure there's no color difference. Yeah, appearance you, is the first impression. <laughs> you, got, you, you get what you buy. <laughs> That's the most important right, thing. Right. You got what you buy. Yeah. And this is the packaging. So here what we see is that you know, the washing machines are fully, resembled, are fully assembled. Assembled and mm -hmm. waiting for the automatic packaging. Mm -hmm. Automatic packaging. And you're right. going to um, sell them into different countries. And I heard, you know, this one is the GE appliances line. Mm -hmm. So they are for the United States market. And for different markets, they actually have different products. Yeah. It, it's slightly different. So tell, tell us more about it. I think that is really, really interesting. Yeah, you know the consumers or users have different uh, demand mm -hmm. on our washers. So uh, like for the uh, Japan, mm -hmm. Japan, you know Japan, there are many single men. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for them, we develop an invented uh, like a uh, special washer mm -hmm. only for the single men, which can save a lot of uh, washer and energy consumption. Oh, that's really convenient. So they, they don't use, you know, bigger yeah. washers. Like I know uh, in the United States, people use bigger uh, okay. washers. Big, right. Yeah, and in Japan, it's actually smaller and more, you know, energy saving, water, mm -hmm. water saving. And what else do you have? Uh, and also like, uh, uh, and also in the Japan, there are kind of like a lot of elderly women Mm -hmm. And their uh, average height is about 1.55 meters. Okay. So for them, we have uh, developed a washer 
a small washer with hide oh, only. Oh, so it's easier for them to get a clothes. Yeah, yeah. Convenient for them to put in and pick the clothes out. Oh, that's very convenient. Uh -huh, right. And also for the like the Pakistan. Uh huh. You know they have their traditional wearing habit. Oh yeah, they, with a robe. Right, right, right. And the robe is very uh like very big. Yeah, you know, robe is really hard to, to wash in a washing machine because they are, you know, big in size. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we uh, developed a special washer for them that we can, uh, they can uh, wash the robe. Okay, I see two different assembly lines here. Mm -hmm. so that one is for another market, I guess. Yeah, this for the domestic market. Oh, for domestic. Yeah. And on the red hand, this one, this side is for GE, for the America. For US market. For the US market. And the packaging, I see the packaging is a little bit different. Yes. And uh, we will um, develop different packaging methods according to different uh, uh, countries' uh, uh, demand of uh, delivery mm -hmm. uh -huh. so uh so you can see they are different right yeah so the boxes are actually different you are doing this i guess is to adapt to the different method to uh, uh, in their warehouse yeah in the oh. warehouse uh, how do they um, take the units and the delivery and the transportation that is really really detailed attention <laughs> you know <laughs> So from every little detail, we can see your your products are uh, adapting to the local culture, to the local you know uh, user experience. Mm -hmm. And I know you are also going smart. As yes. we said before, there are robotic hands, robotic mm -hmm. arms, and then you have the uh, testing station. Mm -hmm. What else smart technology do you have here? Uh, actually, the whole factory is a kind of a intelligent, uh, uh, world-class intelligent factory. Uh -huh. uh, there at the beginning of the line, you saw those robot arms, right? Yeah. And you have seen the uh, automatic detection uh -huh. uh, station. And uh, also, we have other kind of uh, uh, smart de devices, like yeah. uh, uh, there we will see the uh, robot arms to... Oh, there are more robotic arms here. Right, right. So what are they doing here? Uh, you can see those. Uh, they are. They will catching the rear cabinet there, uh -huh. and then locate there with uh, matching with the unit. Oh, okay. So it's now grabbing a. Uh, this is the uh, rear, rear cover. Cover. Right. Of and the locating, positioning. Whoa. That's done. That's and really then it's uh, mounting there and uh, went to the next station. You can see here, oh. we got another robot. This one is That's to, another one. Yeah, this one is to fasten the screws. Okay. You know, the uh, robot is uh, well provide better solution for yeah. the high accuracy, mm -hmm. high efficiency, and yeah. also high quality. So they actually have different jobs to do. Right. So the first one is uh, to put the rear cover onto uh, the cabinet, and the second one is to Tighten, tighten the screw. The screw wow. So, so how efficient it, it, it is comparing to you know the traditional way. Uh -huh. You see, there there will be no operators here, uh -huh. and uh, that is faster for the operation and the running. So actually, it can like improve by uh, twenty percent of the whole uh, uh, process. Oh, twenty percent. Yeah. Oh, that's really efficient. You know, you only have. Considering that you only have 20 seconds to manufacture a washing machine, so 20% of the time is really, really, uh, very, very essential. Yeah, in doing that. for us. Yes. So, how many seconds? About. Uh, so it will take about uh, 18 seconds uh, for the robotic hand, robotic yeah. arm to do this. Yeah. Wow. So thank you so much. Now we see. Um, this is how we've showed. We've showed. We've showed you that um, the uh, entire manufacturing process of the uh, washing machine, this is how a real big washing machine is being assembled here on the assembly line. And actually we know that from uh, for more than 30 years, the uh, development of hire is actually a thumbnail of the development of China's household appliance uh, manufacturing industry. And 
you are still developing, right? Yeah. You are going to, you are developing in uh, to the Internet of Things, and you are uh, going to make more, you know, smart production. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, here, the line is also producing the smart washers, mm -hmm. and not only the smart washers, we also develop uh, other smart uh, appliances uh, uh, connected with. Uh, you said the Internet of Things, yeah. And besides that, we have also extend to other areas uh, like the health yep. and the logistics uh, and uh, also smart home. And uh, we are evolving, evolving towards the ecosystem. So you're expanding your industry, and right. that's not only higher. That's actually the future of China's uh, household appliance manufacturing industry. And thank you so much for telling us all these, and thank you so much for watching. We are in Qingdao City in East China's Shandong province. And ties have changed. We are still on the road, and we'll have more live stream brought to you along the way. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.